The enhancement of heavy lift helicopter capabilities within the United States Army has taken a significant stride forward through the acquisition of additional CH-47F Block II Chinooks from Boeing. This procurement underscores the Army's dedication to modernizing its fleet with state-of-the-art technologies and designs, ensuring operational readiness and optimizing future maintenance costs. Despite the challenges helicopters have faced in modern conflicts and the cancellation of a new heavy-lift helicopter project, Boeing announced on February 14 that the CH-47F Block II is now operational within the American Armed Forces. This announcement reflects the ongoing modernization efforts of the Army, with Boeing securing a $63 million contract for the second batch, Lot 2 of CH-47F Block II Chinooks, bringing the total number under contract to six. This follows a previous $136 million contract for the first four CH-47F Block II aircraft. Additionally, Boeing received a $29 million advanced preparation contract for Lot 3, ensuring the program's continuity. These developments are part of a broader initiative to maintain the Chinook as a cornerstone of the Army's heavy lift mission for years to come, an initiative subject to re-evaluation considering recent events. The CH-47F Block II represents a significant advancement in the Chinook helicopter line, with a focus on increased payload capacity and improved performance under challenging conditions. Introduced in 2020, this model aims to transport a payload of 22,000 pounds, about 10,000 kilograms, in high altitude and high temperature conditions, with plans to increase this capability to 6,000 feet, about 1,800 meters, altitude. This increased capability allows the CH-47F Block II to transport joint light tactical vehicles, necessitating a maximum takeoff weight increase to 54,000 pounds, about 24,500 kilograms. To achieve these objectives, the CH-47F Block II is equipped with Honeywell T55-715 engines, providing 20% more power than previous models. It also incorporates an active parallel actuator system, APAS, to enhance the digital advanced flight control system enabling precise torque distribution between the rotors for improved efficiency. Fuel management has been redesigned, consolidating the three fuel tanks in each sponson into a single tank, reducing weight by 90 kilograms, 200 pounds, while increasing fuel capacity. The augmentation of electrical capacity is also noteworthy, with the addition of 360 kV generators, enhancing the helicopter's versatility and operational capability. However, a significant aspect of the CH-47F Block II development was the decision not to implement the Advanced Chinook Rotor Blades, ACRB, originally derived from the cancelled RA-66 Comanche program. These blades were intended to enhance lift performance in hot and high-altitude conditions by 2,000 pounds. However, due to persistent vibration during testing, the U.S. Army decided against their implementation despite Boeing's assurance that the vibration posed no safety risk and could be mitigated with dampeners. Despite uncertainties surrounding the role of helicopters in modern warfare, the U.S. Army continues to receive CH-47F Block IIs, raising questions about their potential application in future conflicts.